How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Mom here. And today, we're going to be talking about missions. Now, this may seem kind of redundant, but I haven't really seen a lot of videos on missions as of late. And if so, maybe I just can't find them. But me, I'm kind of a dirty, lazy miner at the moment. Now, my main might be a different story, but we'll bring them out as we go. So this is one of my mining alts. This is not a full-blown crazy, you know, skill point character. This is just my Exumer character. He hits rocks and he just kind of just sits there and does nothing else. He has no combat ability. He's just a dirty old lazy miner. But the thing about it is, is that when you're in a corporation and say every day you do a moon pool, right? And there might be that day that there is no moon pool and you're like, okay, what am I going to do? I'm a dirty, lazy miner and I can't seem to do anything else. You know, maybe I can make a blueprint, but, you know, click, you know, drag, click, start, you're done. You know, obviously you have PI and that's very important too. But one thing you can do is take your character who is a, a miner or a whoever and start doing some missions to increase your rating with factions. Maybe you've killed too many players in Null or Losec, or you know, maybe you've killed too many rats and you know, Sancha rats, and now everyone hates you. And a good way to increase those standings is by missions. Now, there's a few reasons to do missions, and I this is kind of what I wanted to go over and how to improve those ratings, and also how to improve just your gameplay in general, and how to kind of get to the level 4 missions. And I say level 4 is because level 5 is normally in low sec, null sec. Now, maybe, just maybe, there's some in high sec. I don't think that to be the case. Um, and if so, that's new to me. Now, as you can see here, we have set. Set is going to be my agent for this video and he is a level three agent meaning he the pays a little better and i like that i like it to get paid now there's a few skills to help you and that's what we're going to kind of go over not just that but a few other things so we're going to click on the skills now i have this because there's a few things like i said he, he he's a dirty lazy miner and uh, he doesn't have that many skills up but the social tab in your skill points is very important. And I say that for many reasons, but the most important ones are social and negotiation, I believe. Now, obviously, when I get this book, which, well, you can only get through these, is negotiation and social has two different things that allows you to do. One being 5% bonus level per to the NPC agent corporation and faction standing increase meaning every time you do a mission you get five percent more that's five percent faster that you will get to getting to your end goal obviously per level okay so i'm at 20 percent i'm going to get these done 20 percent faster now is that five days worth it sure am i going to do it right now no i'm not now this one also right here skill at agent negotiation this is very important. Five additional pay percentage, okay? Meaning you're actually going to start making decent money. You know, instead of saying, oh, this is a waste of money, this is a waste of money. A lot of people say, oh, this, this particular activity isn't, you know, isn't paying good, you know? Oh, I make ships. Well, okay, you make ships, but do you have accounting, marketing, broker, all that stuff? Do you have day trade, you know? And that is where people kind of get thrown of doing these particular tasks. Now you have fast talk, which is, you know, a more security rating increase, which is good. And that just kind of helps just your overall rating and security. You know, you see some people with 5.0, you see some people negative. This will help you increase that. Now this kind of helps with de-escalating, and I believe this is... If you deny a mission, I'm not 100%, but this is just towards hostile agents. Not quite sure what that exactly means. Um, now, this is also interacting with friendly criminal NPCs um, and towards NPC with low Concord standings. 
and then connections is four percent of standing of friendly NPC uh, corporations of fac factions. So once again, connections, and social negotiation, I guess, would be the best three you want to get. And a lot of these books, you don't have to spend your money. You will, some of them, you will get dropped through the um, rewards. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about was going to be when you're doing these missions. Okay. Here I am Active. mining my own business. <laughs> get it? Mining my, anyways. All right. You'll start getting these little pop-ups. These are very important. These will help your overall rating spike. These are kind of like, I guess you could say the drops. The drops of your security status. Well, not a drop to it, but a, you know, supply crate that will, you do these. And all I had to do was get some Scordite. Very easy. Some of them won't be easy. You might want to, you know, definitely YouTube some security missions because those can get tricky just for your power type. Um, you know, who you're dealing with, how you're dealing with them, etc., etc. Um, and maybe Docking we'll make some of those too Docking because I don't know if them all of them are updated. I'm not 100%, but... So here we go. Um, you know, you want to definitely do, do not pass up on those. So as you can see, we're just kind of running through these. And a lot of these are going to be very easily, you know, done. I mean, they're not that hard. Um, and I've gotten a few of these. I got one of these from the special missions. Pretty easy peasy. And this is what I was talking about earlier, is that you have Galante, Crea Drone, and Set. These all have different ratings. If your Galante rating is like negative 10... I wouldn't be talking to him right now. Just because this is three, and now I can do level three missions, this is how you know, by the way. If this is 1.0, you're doing level one. Two, you're doing level twos, et cetera, et cetera. So this is at 3.16. When I hit 3.2, I'm still doing level three missions. When this says 4.1, I'm doing level four missions. But only if this is not negative two. If you have a negative two and lower security status with Galante, you cannot do missions with them. Even though, right here, effective standing is a 3.2. You see what I'm saying? There's no 3.2 here. It's because they round, they average this one up, I think. I think it's has something to do with like the average or something like that. I'm not too sure exactly how they came up with 3.2. I had one guy that goes all the way up to like 6.8, and this wasn't much higher. So this is very important to look up to, and if you're having issues with your Galante um, ratings, you can pay them off. You can get tags and turn, them, and turn them in, and you can better your ratings with that particular faction. Yes, it's a slow grind, guys, but the cool thing is, if you guys didn't know, whenever you do these kind of these missions you do get rewards you can buy these um, I just said it's affordable only but the show all you can get quite a bit of cool things so them do required require a trade-in for instance the Megathron you need a Megathron and the Nexus chip not too hard you have a mine link for all the minor oh this is a shield one yeah but you have quite a few th of things here. They have some mining stuff here. This is a 5% to mining laser and strip miner yield. So while you're working on your security status in general in EVE, mine is a 0 0.1. I probably need to work on that. On the interaction tab, you can see just who hates you because you killed too many of their rats. Or you, you, know, you blew up somebody in their space. You know. That's a good place to look. But yeah. They have some pretty cool rewards that. If you were to go buy this on the market. You're probably looking at. 170 mil. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty good money. And you can just buy it outright. Let me see. How, how many do I have at the moment? What is my... How do I see 
what my current amount is. Oh, there we go. I have 5,827. So you can kind of see, and we're at level 3. Now, the higher you go up in your level, obviously the more you get. The Iskul, I think, hit around 500,000. And the loyalty points, I think, hits around 700. But we, there will be an update video on that, at least. Um, and as you can see, it starts going to like 6,000. And then I think around here, it just starts kind of spiking. Because by the time you start getting into level 4s, it kind of it goes up pretty good. Now, level 5s are going to be in low sec, null sec. So you don't really have to worry about that. If you have a corporation that does missions then this video is probably going to be fairly pointless to you, and they've already explained all this. But if you have a buddy or a couple buddies that play EVE and you guys want to do some missions, you guys might be able to pull off some level 5s. So I hope a lot of this became, you know, helpful for some of you guys looking to get into the mission side of EVE. Now, a lot of the things I just went over are universal to all. Whether you're doing security, mission, distribution, it does not matter. And if you guys are looking to expand your knowledge, I would definitely look into doing, you know, if you're a miner, do some security missions. It doesn't take too much. Yes, you see some people with some blinged out stuff. Um, mining, honestly, I mean, I use this, so nothing special. A lot of the mining, you know, the security, you know, PVE, they kind of build ships just for particular things. But here, we don't have to. We just have to pull up our miner, and we'll use them tomorrow when we pop our moons. So it's kind of cool. It's fr free security status. And before I forget, this is 0.1, if you guys are wondering, security status also affects how quickly Concord comes save you when getting ganked. So as a miner, I like having high security, and I want to make sure I could be saved. It does take a while to get it up there. One of my characters, he's at 5.0, and it took a good amount of grinding. Now, once you hit the level fours, things start skyrocketing. Like I said, you start getting more, pay you start getting paid more. You start getting more LP, and then you can start seeing some traumatic payments. And you're going to be like, okay, this might be worth it. Now, the mining missions, will they pay for the account? I guess we'll have to see, and just maybe I'll mess with that. Um, what you can do is if you have other characters you want to get them raised up and you don't mind grinding you can go ahead and invite yourself to a fleet up to 10 people and you can spider web it meaning every time you turn it in everyone gets credit for it um, so if you're able to multi box or you know multi account doing missions and all that and just kind of have everyone doing missions turning them in and doing that yes you split everything but completing a mission has a base amount for completing the mission so you can get your security status with that faction up a lot quicker if you if you did that versus just solo all right guys thank you guys so much and remember guys to subscribe like and comment down below guys what you guys want to see in future videos um i'm still trying to get you know the hang of things and seeing if i how what i want to do in these videos um, i am a full-time stay-at-home dad um and everyone's been kind of sick um so i haven't really made the best content I did pull out my microphone to get, at least give you guys better quality and I'm going to be trying to get some things set up in the works for you guys down to blueprints um, and just kind of some overall knowledge. Um, and I talk about missions because not too many people go over missions. And I will say, guys, go check out Johnny Pugh. Uh, he's an amazing YouTube uh, content creator and he does stream on Twitch. Um, he actually got me into a lot of these missions, DD sites and all that kind of stuff. And he's actually messing with the air program or did at least. And he's doing DD sites, which is something really cool on Eve as well. So go check that out guys. If you guys don't know who he is, he's an old school creator and he's coming back and we're all very happy that he is back. So go check him out and, uh, tell him I said hi, if you guys want, um, but all right, guys, so that's my time for today. If you guys have any questions, guys, leave them in the comments down below. I will read them and respond. And um, subscribe, like, and share the video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. Peace.